Residents and businesses in Subi St. Andrew are welcoming the completion of a project dubbed Innovative Nature-Based Solutions to Enhance Community Resilience in Grenada. The project, supported by the Caribbean Biodiversity Fund and Windrift, addressed shoreline and coastal erosion, which resulted due to the impact of climate change. Trevor Noel, Deputy Director of Windruff, explained that the project was done in two phases, the restoration of the reef and the stabilization of the shoreline. More than 1,000 square meters of land was reclaimed. This grant, entitled Innovative Nature-Based Solutions to Enhance Community Resilience in Grenada, or ING, had a duration of 30 months, and I'm happy to say it led to a reclamation of 1,000 square meters of land through the innovation of the engineers, contractors, and our own Subis community members. The series of targeted interventions address these issues through a two-pronged approach. Firstly, the restoration of the fringing reef and secondly, stabilization of the natural shoreline. When combined, these interventions reduce the wave energy reaching and impacting the shoreline, enhance the community's access to the sea, improve the biodiversity within the bay, and enhance the community's green space used for recreational purposes. Peron Johnson, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Climate Resilience, the Environment and Renewable Energy, said the project is in keeping with government's commitment to support, build resilience and sustainability throughout Grenada. This therefore marks a significant milestone in the collective journey towards building resilience and sustainability in our beloved nation. Throughout the project, we have embarked on a remarkable journey of discovery, innovation and collaboration. We have witnessed the transformative power of nature-based solution in enhancing community resilience, protecting the environment, and most importantly, protecting livelihoods. Throughout the visionary um, intervention of Windriff under this innovative nature-based solution enhancement community project, as indicated by Dr. Noel, we saw the reclamation of 1,000 square feet square meters square meters of precious land. This reclamation not only fortifies homes and critical infrastructure, but it also serves as a hallmark against the ravages of storms, surges, and other natural disasters. Parliamentary Representative for St. Andrew Southeast, Honorable Emily Pear, commended the team from Windriff and CBF for turning the dreams of the community into a reality. She celebrates the preservation of livelihood and community togetherness in Subis. So today we celebrate its tangible impacts, erosion reduction along the coastline, mitigation of flooding in low-lying areas, protection of seafront businesses, preservation of the area for recreational use, creation of two points of access to boats, and that would be very soon facilitation of boat tethering, facilitating the increased sea moss farming, 1,000 square meters of reclaimed lands, and the provision of employment opportunities. Over $1 million was contributed by the Caribbean Biodiversity Fund toward the project, according to Petifer Lewis, representative of the Biodiversity Fund. A similar project will soon commence within the constituency. CBF contributed just over a million US dollars to the ING project, which aims to strengthen the climate resilience of coastal communities in Grenville Bay, particularly Subis through a series of innovative nature-based interventions. I am happy to announce that under the Ecosystem Adaptation Program, Windriff is starting a new project called Safeguarding Telescope Coastline, using a living shoreline approach, or TLS, which is the follow-on project from this one.